Hello, Sagittarius. Welcome to Metaphysical Moonlighters. I am Citrine Shaka. I'm also known as D. And this is your June 2019 tarot reading. Now, I have already laid out the cards. I'm using the Medicine Woman tarot deck this month. And I've also drawn one card from the Black Moon Astrology deck as well. This is an astrological spread. Okay, so I have chosen at least one card for each of the 12 astrological houses. So let's get right into your reading, Sagittarius. Okay, let's start off with house one. House one is all about you, okay? It's about your demeanor, your outlook on life, things of that nature. And you have the eight of wands. So you, this month in June, you are going to feel like things are happening for you very fast. So that's great news, Sagittarius. Now, let's move on to see what's going on with your material possessions because you have the nine of wands and it is reversed, okay? So there's going to be some financial problem that arises that has a tendency to pop up in your life from time to time, okay? And sometimes when this financial problem occurs, you just feel like, when is it going to go away, you know? So this is going to make you feel like you want to deal with it and um, just settle this problem, whatever it is that pops up for you. Now, remember, this is a general reading. It's for entertainment purposes only. Don't take it too seriously if, if it doesn't resonate with you, okay? Now, let's move on to house three. House three is the house of communications. It is ruled by Mercury. So it can also talk about transportation. And you have the Queen of Cups reversed, okay? So this can definitely represent that some Sagittarius this month, some of you might be alienating yourself. You might be communicating in a way that is, you know, sending out signals to other people that you really don't want to be bothered, okay? So just keep an eye out for that, okay? Because the Queen of Cups reversed, it can talk about doing things like that, okay? Because when it's upright, it talks about the most loving person. But when it is reversed, it can talk about um, sort of like alienating yourself, basically. Alienating yourself and also being manipulative. So you might be, you know, manipulating, trying to communicate in a way that other others feel like you're trying to manipulate them. Or... Others just might feel like you really don't want to be bothered. You know, you really don't, you, you might be putting off an aura that says you really don't feel like talking right now. So just keep an eye out for that, Sagittarius. Now, as far as your home and your family life, you have the four of swords reversed. And this can talk about if you've been feeling like there's a family situation that you, that has has left you feeling like you you are confined or you're stuck. Well, this is good news because the Four of Swords reversed. It, it can talk about the fact that that confinement is over. So you should, if, if things have been feeling a little bit heavy in your home and family life, in your home situation, things will be looking up for a lot of Sagittarius this month. So that's great news. Great news for you, Sagittarius. Now, let's look at house five. House five is a fun house. House five is ruled by the sun. It's about fun, creativity, romance, even children. And you have the two of wands, Sagittarius. Okay. Now, this can talk about slow growth, but in a way, if you have been very busy, it can talk about slow growth. So maybe as far as your creativity, um, Maybe, maybe your, your creativity might not be um, coming to you as fast as it normally does. But that's okay because sometimes we do need to kind of take a step back, okay? And let our creativity flow to us, okay? Now, let's keep moving on. Let's look at what's going on in house six. Okay, house six can talk about your health. It can talk about your vitality. And it can also just talk about your daily routine, okay? And you have the justice card reversed. So some Sagittarius might feel like there's something going on on a daily basis that is leaving you feel feeling like there might be a little bit of unfairness 
happening or a little bit of injustice because this is the justice card and it is reversed okay this can also be a message to you to make sure that you balance out the energies in your body okay you know make sure you're drinking enough water make sure you're trying to eat healthy meals things of that nature because the Justice card reversed, it can talk about imbalance. And this card is in the area of this spread that can deal with your health. Okay, so there might be a little bit of imbalance in your health this month, Sagittarius. So keep an eye on your health. Keep an eye on your health this month. As far as your partnerships, you have the Wheel of Fortune card, which is a great card to have. It talks about synchronicity. It talks about... Um, making progress in your relationships okay it is upright it is not reversed so that's great now moving on to the house that can deal with what you're passionate about this is also the house that can deal with your transformation now you have the ten of wands and it is reversed so again you have a feeling like you are freeing yourself from burdens okay and remember you had something similar in house four in house four you had the four of swords reversed which can talk about being free from any type of confinement or restriction. Okay, so this is good news. It's it's a good spread. So far, the main thing you need to concentrate on um, is your health in June. Okay, now let's look at, let's move on to house 10, which can deal with your career. Okay, what do you have? You have the queen of swords reversed. Okay, again, this can deal with being overly critical okay which can remember in house three you had the queen of cups reversed and now in the area of your life dealing with your career you have the queen of swords reversed so a lot of this might be coming through on your job Sagittarius so on your job you might be coming off as though you don't want to talk as though you really don't want to be bothered and as though you are being overly critical okay so just keep an eye out for that. Watch how you communicate with others on your job this month, Sagittarius, okay? Now, as far as your as far as your friendships, you have the 7 of cups and it is reversed. So you are definitely making mature decisions when it comes to your friendships and when it comes to group organizations this month. Now, moving on to house 12. House 12 deals with your spirituality. It also deals with hidden topics as well now you have the princess of cups and it is reversed okay so this can deal with um sort of like a clouded judgment so nothing much really going on here because remember this is the house that neptune co-rules with jupiter and neptune tends to be kind of like the dreamy planet so um nothing much really going on there for you sagittarius now, let's look at your card that was pulled. You have the first house card, which deals with the body, okay? So, let's see what this message is from this card. It says, move ahead with confidence. You are rising, okay? You will soon be filled. You, oops, let, oh, let me start over. You will soon be feeling your own strength. Try not to control or dominate certain situations, okay, as this will backfire on you, okay? And this also talks about possibly a position of leadership could be heading your way, okay? So, this, also, this card also talks about the fact that um, you need to consider how healthy you are and consider how much stamina you have as well. And if you find as though you, you know, you're not as healthy as you thought you were, then try to make changes towards better health as well. Okay, so that's everything I have for you this month, Sagittarius. It has been a pleasure to bring you this reading. Now, if you want a personal reading just like this one, um, but a private reading, you can contact me. I'm on Facebook under Citrine Shaka. And you can also email me, 
Citrine Shaka at gmail.com. Now you can also visit my website, which is metaphysicalmoonlighters.com, and I'd be happy to um, schedule a reading for you. Now, until next month, Sagittarius, please like this video and share the video, and also subscribe to the channel if you have not done so already. Now, until next month, you enjoy your month, Sagittarius.